Hey guys, what's going on? This is G-Rad here, and I thought I would share a little video tutorial about how I do my MIDI mapping. And in this tutorial, I will be showing you how I MIDI map Easy Drummer 2 with my Roland TD9, which is my current configuration. And the reason this tutorial is possibly important to a lot of you is because Easy Drummer 2, by default, does have MIDI mapping presets that cannot be altered. In other words, what you see is what you get with mapping, and unfortunately, that may not always be very nice. You know, you might want to be able to do more than what the preset maps will allow you to do, especially with bigger drum kits like say drums of destruction or even you know any other easy x expansion for easy drummer 2 i really enjoy easy drummer 2 simple layout and it is accessible for me via the sibiac interface and so what i'm going to do here is i am going to explain how I set up my TD9's mapping configuration because on my TD9 I actually do have my auxiliary split into two pads which on the onboard sounds is simple enough by just changing the sound and yes you could possibly even change the MIDI notes on the TD9 module itself however that is not a workable option for someone such as myself who is completely blind so what I'm going to do now is I am going to load up Easy Drummer 2 and I'm going to give you a demonstration of what happens to the kit with and without the pre-map configurations. So let's bring in a new track. Track name edit black pane. One arm zero items. I'm just going to go ahead and just leave it as is because this is just the only track that's going to be in this. So I'm going to... Scanning direct at, at FX2. Track 1. Easy Drummer. List BSTI. Easy Drummer. Two. FX, track one dialogue. Listen. Now, I'm going to go Unsaved. ahead and close that out. One arm, zero items. And I want to make sure that my track is armed. Not when playing. Record monitor off. Normal. And my recording mode isn't normal. Um, now, I'm going to go into my context menu, and I'm going to make sure that my... Context menu. E e uh, MIDI interface is selected as my default recording. Track it. Track record. Automatic re input. Input. MIDI input. check sub Input. Stare. Input. Mono sub menu. Record. Disable. In, 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 input. No, no. Automatic record. Or input. Input. MIDI check sub menu. So I got it. Okay, it's already set to MIDI. USB MIDI sub menu U. 2 UMC 404 HD19. Virtual MIDI keyboard sub menu V. All MIDI inputs check sub menu A. I just always use all MIDI. It's just easier. <laughs> okay. Input. MIDI check. Unsafe. If it's not working, you got to make sure that your MIDI interface is readily available. That may be another tutorial if you guys need it. So, um, anyways. So now that we know items. that. FX. Track one dialogue. Easy drummer. Preset basic. So I'm just going to use the basic preset. And what you're going to hear now is you're going to hear me play the drums. And you're going to see, because I have a camera set up to record this as well, that the drum, config, the drum mapping is completely out of whack. So check it out. Okay, as you can see from that particular little demo there, that the kit's mapping is completely thrown in disarray here. So what can we do to fix that? Well, first of all, like I said, they do have presets that we can select from. And here's what happens when you select the Roland preset. Page drums, kit kick, settings and information menu, context menu. Mouse tracking off, advanced submenu, settings submenu S, set as default project, settings submenu, general. MIDI libraries, MIDI events, E drums, E settings page E drums. You go to E drums in your settings. MIDI mapping none. And see, it says no MIDI mapping, so I'm going to hit enter here. Context menu, generic, generic G, Yamaha Y, Roland R. And we'll go to Roland. MIDI mapping Roland. Hi hat pedal correction none. Default. And if you need to do some hi hat pedal correction, this is the place to do it. I prefer to do a little bit more closed. Context menu, curve one, close more. See, hi hat pedal correction, curve one, close more. Set all to default. Okay. Hit okay. Settings and information menu. Preset basic. 
And now when I go to play the kit, you'll hear that the drums are a lot better configured. So check it out. So as you've noticed from that previous demonstration there, all the drums are synced up and you know they sound correct and accurate. Now when I hit the tom rims, they sound like tom rims. When I hit the drums, they sound like actual drums. And the one thing you will have noticed in that demonstration is that when I hit my far right suspended cymbal and my far left suspended cymbal above my hi-hats, they were assigned to the same sound. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set a couple of custom cymbals so that way the configuration is a little bit more distinguishable and I'll run through that demo again so you can definitely hear where the difference is and now how I'm going to do this is I'm going to go here Active edit multi-line button 0.3% slash 0.3% okay, CPU 0 CD drummer preset basic page drums kick kick rod symbol 1 I'm going to go to symbol 1 dialog symbol 1 package ease drummer 2 modern I'm going to go to the metal context alt plus drums of this ease drummer ease drummer 2 hip hop metal dialog symbol 1 P6 Spock trash hit 12 Sabian HH splash I'm gonna use this 12 Sabian splash Kit symbol 1 Symbol 2 Sim Symbol 4 Dialogue symbol 4 I'm gonna do the same thing here but I'm gonna assign it to a China Context menu Alt rock A Plus drum East East drummer 2 vintage Hip hop Metal Dialogue symbol 4 P7 19 Sabian A 18 Sabian HH Chinese 18 Sabian HH Kit symbol 4 Unsaved project Reaper V6 point Alright now, I'm going to go and play that same kit, and you're going to notice that now those two far symbols are assigned to the same thing, which is the China. I stand corrected. It was assigned to the splash symbol. <laughs> okay, so here's how I fix this. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to have to do a little text editing, but I need to learn what notes are being played on what symbol so I know which notes to map. So here's how I do that. I will simply start a recording process and then I'm going to go over there and I'm going to hit the symbols in the configurational order that I know is the correct symbols. So here we go. Check it out. Record. Select files to save or delete dialog prompt to save slash delete slash rename new files. Save all button. Unsaved project. Okay, cool. So now that I got that figured out, I am back and I now have a MIDI map or a MIDI file on my track that has the symbols. As you notice, I hit where I want my splash to be first, which is on the left above my hi hat, and then I hit the china where, I, or at least where I want the china to be, twice, you know, one after the other. One, one zero one recorded MIDI. So, MIDI take. I'm gonna go into the MIDI take. R six B four eighty two percent one note. D sharp one. So it's a D sharp one. Bar seven. D sharp one. Seven. And it's a D sharp one. Bar seven. B three ninety four percent one note. E one. Seventeen percent. E one is a uh, China. Bar eight. E one. Seventeen. So here's what I want to do. I want to find out where the China is, whenever I hit it. Now here's how I will do that. I will scan through my MIDI notes using whatever method y'all use for me it's holding down my alt and shift keys and using the down arrow d sharp three d sharp d, 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 d sharp minus d, d sharp zero d, 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 d sharp four d sharp five d five c sharp c five a one g sharp one g one so it's a g1 g sharp g1 i don't know why it's so quiet though it's kind of quiet today ain't it f sharp one g1 okay cool so now that i know it's a g1 I am going to fix that. Now G1 is simple enough to remember. Okay, so now to verify. F sharp one, F1, E1, D sharp one. See there's my splashes. E1, F1, F sharp one, G1. Okay, cool. So I need G1. G sharp one. Or G sharp one. 
to be my notes. So that, I believe, is numbers 30 and 31 or something like that. So here's how you do this. I'm going to leave this up as a template. Now, close this out. Unsafe Project Reaper V6.23 registered to check. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have to go into my app data folder, and there's going to be a specific file that I will need to edit. And then I will explain why you need to edit this particular file. OBS 26 Unsaved Project Reaper V6.2. Okay, so check it out. Folder view. And Google Recite Kindle. Sleep this piece. Jerry. Okay, so I'm going to go here. Up and to address. Jared. Address combo. Tree. And then you're going to go to the Reaper, Reaper folder. 20 of 33. Open. Reaper 20 of the items. Configurations 2 of 4. Cursors 3 of. Configurations 2 of 4. You're going to go to. Q Cursor data four of forty one. Go to your data folder. Items view nine key maps two of ten. And you're gonna go to key maps. Items view list zero zero default mapping not selected one of two. And see right here you see that I have two files I already have one set up for my TD nine. And let me show you what I do. Zero one TD nine rolling mapping two of two. Zero one TD nine rolling mapping notepad text editor. And see this is just a notepad text editor file and the configure the layout is really simple. Slash slash octave zero. So octave zero. Zero zero C. And see, you'll see that it has a first note and then a second note. Tap, tap, left, zero, right, paren. You have one, the first one's a parenthesis. Space, C, carriage return, C, space, right, zero, left, tab, tab, zero. No, and excuse me, the first one is not in parenthesis. The second one is in parenthesis after two tabs. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to... One, 18, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, blank, slash, slash, octave two. Now, it says octave two, and if you remember, it said it was E1 and D sharp one for the hi-hat notes. Why is that? Because I have a minus one configuration. So, in this case, it is octave two. 24, 24, 25, 26, 26, 25, 25, C number. Okay, and you'll see that right here. 26, 26, D. I got a 26. 27, 27, E, B. And an E flat, and those are correct. 32, 28, E. But where my E is, you'll see that I have 32, note number 32. <laughs> As my E note. 29, 29, 30, 31, 32, 32, G number. Because you'll go over here, and if you remember, I needed a G sharp as my note, and you'll see that G sharp is number note 32. So what you do is you change 30, 30, 20, 32, 28, e. the first number to the number in which you want it to map. In other words, in this case, I wanted it to map note number 32, so I map number 32. And it's where map number 28 should be. And that's what the parenthesis is explaining is that's what the original note number is. And the first note number, which is the one that you edit, is the note number you want it to be. So now that I have that configured, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to close this out. Of course, saving any changes if you have any. Nine key maps window. Items and I'm going to close this. Unsaved project Reaper VC. Unsaved. And go back to Reaper. Now, here's what, you need to, here's what you need to do to make it work. One arm, one item. I am going to delete this MIDI one track. One, MIDI bar one, one item removed. I'm going to add a new effect. FX, track one dialogue. Add FX to And I'm going to add map to MIDI two. So, list one, JS, MIDI map to key one of two. JS, MIDI map to key V2, two of two. This is the one you're looking for, a MIDI map to key V2. And then you're going to hit enter. FX, track one dialogue. Now, you're not done yet. So what you're going to do now is you're going to go down to the configurations button zero percent slash zero point three percent. And right here, the combo box is selected for some reason. Two. And you want to make sure that you're on channel ten. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then mapping file combo box. Zero. And you're going to go here and you're going to change the mapping file to the one that you want. Zero one TD nine rolling mapping dot text. And if you notice, I have that rolling mapping one. And you want to make sure that whenever you do this, you want to always change the name of your default mapping to something that you can identify. In this case, I have it to my Roland TD9 mapping. And then you can close Let's that out. Project Reaper V6. And then for me, I have to go FX. back in because there's one more important thing. That MIDI map to key 2 has to be the first thing in your effects chain. VSTI, Easy Drummer. So two I'm going to move the Easy Drummer down after the map yes. to, MIDI map to, to key. key 2 JS, MIDI map to key V2, BSTI, East Rubber. And so there you go. And that's the configuration it needs to be in. And now, when I go to play my drum set, it does the following.
And there you have it. That's all you do. And I hope this video was informative. And if you have any further questions, I would be more than happy to answer them for you. So until then, I will see you guys in the next video. This is G signing out saying peace.